spoke to the to the guy that was there and he was fishing so he spends the night in the by the canal fishing and he invited us to put our tent next to his which we did It was great to have met Pietro and camp with him by the canal in the middle of Concordia Sagittaria. We absolutely loved the experience of sleeping in the middle of the town and just don't care about being judged. Particularly because the view of the city was spectacular. To wake up by the canal and see the town like that gave us more energy to carry on the trip. That's it, now we are leaving. We need to get to Aquilea, which is around 70 kilometers from here. But not before telling you a secret of Tiago. <laughs> oh, 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 you. <laughs> Tiago is scared of dogs. And he's like his normal reaction every time he feels there is a, a dog running after him, he just starts cycling faster. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Regardless of our personal fears, we carried on having fun the way we could. Certainly fair. But there is always a price to pay. Yeah. One thing we have been noticing is our constantly increased number of our group. Not specifically by humans. Check it out who we found living here. Ta-da! A ladybug. It seems that animals enjoy our company. I just detached my light, I don't know why, and I found it. She's been living here for I don't know how long. Hello! After revealing my secret, I can't really say it's totally reciprocal. Ah, she's gone! No, she's here! She's here! With a larger group, we were to enter our fourth region of Italy. Now it's Udini. Let's see what they... what to expect from that. Excited! The Friuli Venezia Giulia is an autonomous region and it's clear quite different from the other regions. The houses and the streets are larger, even the language. And what you could already realize on our first 100 meters inside this new province is that they write everything in Italian and on their own dialect. Their dialect seemed to us more similar to Slovenian language which was a great sign that we were close to them. You can see it's quite different, like they even have some of the signals in the Magazino Comunale, for example, the third one in the Comunale, they have this thing which we have in Portuguese, uh, but they don't have in Italian, so it's interesting, no? The only problem of cycling around here is that there are no cycleway anymore. Well, there are some, but for a short distance is scattered all around. So we kept going from motorway to beautiful landscapes and small towns. Every scenario was a surprise. The day was going great. We were already very comfortable with the roads, with our bikes, our pace, even though we knew we had to hurry up to arrive in Scotian Cave in Slovenia in just a few days. We noticed unusual decoration when you enter the small town. Mudana del Tognano. They had this white and blue decor on every house in the town. 
We are really puzzled and had to know why. Signore, signore, mi scusi, cos'è tutto questo cosa blu e bianco nella città? Eh, domani c'è la festa della Madonna, ah. una ricorrenza. Ok. Ogni paese ha la sua Madonna, domani c'è la festa della Madonna. Questa... Di questa ah. fazione. Ok, grazie mille. Bello. Ciao. Yeah, we can't argue how religious is the entire country. Now that we are happy to know the reasons why this city is so decorated, we continue to head towards Aquileia. We were also comfortable with camping, so wet sleep wasn't that bother anymore. The best thing about not being too worried of where we are going to sleep is that we could appreciate better the landscape around us and particularly today, when we knew a clear wasn't that far ahead of us and we would easily make it before sunset. A clear is also one of those cities we pinpointed before tracing our route, like Savioneta. However, unlike Savioneta, which was on our way, we had to deviate about 15 kilometers to arrive in a clear. Well, for those cycling over a thousand kilometers in total, 15 kilometers more or 15 less wouldn't really make a difference. The cathedral is beautiful. Aklia was once the superpower city of the world. It used to be one of the largest as well. Well, it's such a contrast today, because they really have not many people living in there anymore. And they were also very important during the Roman Empire. All over Aquileia, we can see remains of this Roman time. Breakfast in Italy has to be with wine. And cheese. <laughs> It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And we are having a typical Italian breakfast. That's Just not really typical, <laughs> but it, for us it is. Yes. Forgive Mama us, Italian Mia. friends. <laughs> Why not? By the way, now we're just gonna finish having our breakfast and head towards Trieste, which hopefully, now I'm sure, it'll be another good surprise. Then we hit the road, but not before noticing we had again company. Right, so we have uh, literally just left Aquileia. Uh, really nice, really liked, and it's nice because uh, it's not exactly on the road, but we managed to like you know go. Further 10 kilometers away from the from the original route, only to see a clear, and it's totally worth it. You know. By the way, this region they have massive houses. I don't know if that's like something from back in the days, but this region, uh, Fiuli, it's an autonomous region, and uh, you know. Like the richer, I haven't done my research really, but the houses are incredibly big, so this seems to be really wealthy. Seems to be a wealthy region here. And uh, now we're heading towards Trieste, and the wind is blowing as strong as ever, and somehow it's always against it. If we go down, north, east, west, it's always against us. But here we go. Uh, I don't know if you guys can feel it, but the wind is pushing up like, like seriously. Sometimes you're just like going on a bike and it comes. It's crazy. Now we are completing the U-turn of the tip of the Adriatic Sea, coming out of the peninsula and going down the other side of the coast towards Trieste. We are getting close to Trieste, our last main stop uh, in Italy. If I can say that, because apparently they consider themselves a free town, 
free state. I still don't know what is that. I just saw like a, a sign saying. Olha, território libero Trieste, which is the free territory of Trieste. There again, but you cannot see it. Um, the way to Trieste is very beautiful. It's much more green, and you can see the the trees. The vegetation is more dense, so it's very beautiful. But uh, it's not as flat as it was in Veneto or Emilia Romana, which is a bit difficult. Also, um, it's too windy. Bloody hell! Too too windy. Too much. But we are getting there. I think we're like. 15 kilometers away from Trieste, so it's a big uh, achievement for us. Woohoo! I tried to scare him, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> 